Hey guys, my buddy Tom brought his 2015 Macan Turbo over the other day and we changed the front brakes. Now, before you lift a Macan, make sure you know about this up here. Um, you need to turn off the auto leveling if your car has it, and then feel free to change the brakes. With the car up in the air and the wheel off already, the first thing we're gonna do is just release our wear sensor. So they have it tucked in under our uh, brake fluid line and then it's connected to this thing right here. You come over to this side, there's just a little uh, pinch thing on the bottom that you pinch and you pull it off from the back. And it was a pain in the butt to uh, figure out how to take this side off though. So this little triangle up here has a little pin. And you can see that you can see the pin from the front goes through this hole right here. So you just have to kind of lift the back of that off a little bit. And then it doesn't just slide straight down. You actually have to rotate this thing 90 degrees and then slide it down. So with the screw, little screwdriver, I'm just kind of prying that little piece out. Oops. From the back. And then grabbing it from the front and rotating it 90 degrees this way, and then you pull it straight down. It's still very stuck, but once it's rotated that way, you can pull hard. And it'll finally come loose. Next, we're actually gonna remove the caliper. So it is just these two big bolts here, and it is one of these triple square tools. This one is an M14 is the size. So I just got this thing on a breaker bar because uh, when you put them back in, it's gonna be 145 foot pounds. So they should be on there pretty tight, but with the breaker bar, it is easy to remove them. And these are stretch bolts. So Porsche recommends that you replace them each time with new bolts. So I'll put a link to some new bolts in the description of this video so you can get those. They're not too expensive and you might as well do it the right way. Here is the parts. We just ordered these directly from Porsche. Ta-da. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, they're on tight. So definitely gonna want a breaker bar. Make sure your bit is all the way seated in there. And once you get them loose, you can come back with some power tools if you want to get them out the rest of the way. <laughs> all right, now we can power these out. Out, I said. <laughs> the other one. Okay, go ahead. All right. All right, bolt number one. This is the only thing holding this on now, other than uh, pressure of the brake pads against the rotor. So it's probably not going to move anywhere, but just be ready. So our brake line is uh, held in by this little bracket here and all you have to do is lift it straight off. Although it is very, very tight. So you don't have to worry about that thing falling off while you're driving. All right, so I just wanna loosen that so I have some more slack when we pull this caliper off. So now you should just be able to wiggle it back and forth. We don't have any hooks. Oh yeah. And then uh, have some hooks ready, either a hook or I just put three zip ties together and we'll zip tie it right up here to this brace to uh, let it hang. Just kind of go up and down to break the seal. So we got it worked off and uh, we got three zip ties together. So we're just gonna go through the same hole that the bolt went through and zip tie it up here. Ta-da, okay. So we're just gonna hang this out of the way while we get the rotor off. We'll come back and get the pads out. So this is a, a T30, just one little tiny bolt that's holding this in that we already loosened. 
and then this is gonna be super crusted on, so we're gonna whack it with a mallet, but we're gonna use this thing that came in the kit that helps you put your wheels on. An alignment pin, they call it, so that after it comes loose, this thing will catch it and it won't land on my foot. Probably on tight. Oh yeah, we did uh, take a little PB blaster and spray it around here earlier just to let that kind of soak in and help us. But uh, if you see the floor, <laughs> this is all the stuff that's already fallen out. So. Ah, there we go. All right, came with us. Rode it down. All right, now I like to come back in with a, a little steel brush and clean up around here. And if you want to put a little bit of anti-seize around there, it's not a bad idea, just so the next time you take it off, it'll be easier. All right, this thing is a great tool. Looks like a paint gun, I mean a uh, caulk gun, but you put this between your brake pads. So just stick this between the pads, pump, and it's gonna push the pads into the pistons and uh, get them all the way pressed in. So you'll be ready for new pads. All right. Gonna release that. And these things will just slide right out. So there is this little uh, metallic backing that goes on the back. It's got these two little metal hooks that uh, hold it onto here to keep that together. So when you replace your pads, you're probably gonna reuse this piece. You can see where the three places where the pistons press against them. I put a little bit of grease on there that usually come with your pad, new pads and uh, slide this piece back onto your new pad. And then pop off our other side. And this is the one that has the wear sensor. And the wear sensor can sometimes be stubborn but it just slides straight up. So just be gentle that you don't damage this. All right, so it just slides out. You can see the grooves in it. Go right into the grooves of that. So we'll put this back in our new pad. So we got our new pad here. Just gonna stick that back in. All right, get our backing plate back on. And then here's the grease that came with these pads. And uh, Nothing fancy, no artwork here. Just smear a little grease on there. And that should help it not squeal. And then just feed this back through the middle. Okay, so you can see that I got them both started here, but let me show you the uh, outside. So the outside has these springs and this spring over here and on the bottom are uh, what hold the pad in place and they're preventing it from going all the way in right now. So what we learned is if you take a, a screwdriver and kind of pull this back, let's see if I can show you. You see how it kind of released and let that slide in. Now this side, Get this side started. Just hold pressure against that and then come on here over my shoulder. And if you just pull this spring out, it'll slide into place. So that was the trick. It took us after struggling a long time. Just do that. Oops. That should put them in the only way they fit. <laughs> and uh Sometimes this plate is just gonna fall off and get in the way. So just be patient, stick it back on. Once they're started, just take a little spring trick again. <laughs> All right into place and 
All right, so tip again, just use the alignment pin, slide your new rotor on, make sure it's seated all the way before you put this little screw in. And I just did that by grabbing it on each side and shaking it until it was all the way snug back and it didn't move anymore. And we'll just uh, start that by hand and then tighten it up again as a T30. Like it. And if it's not going in straight, try to uh, reposition this, make sure that it is lined up right in the middle of the hole. All right, so at first it was not completely centered with the holes, so you wanna make sure it is, so you're not cross-threading that guy. Good. Yeah. And then just snug that guy up. And move our pin. Now we can just cut the zip tie drop the uh, rotor back over here over the caliper. Use our two new bolts uh, to tighten them up. 145 foot-pounds. 145 foot-pounds yeah. look like. <laughs> yeah. This is what it is like. <laughs> okay, so 145 foot-pounds is no joke. That's all my body weight. Uh, and this is why you want to reuse these, uh, replace these bolts. Oh. There it is. Okay, and then uh, your sensor, if you come over here, you can see, make sure you remember to tuck your sensor back into here and tuck it under here. Mm -hmm. And then to replace this thing, we're gonna slide it up like this and then rotate it back. And over the brake line. Yes. Till it clicks, and then rotate it, and rotate it 90 degrees till that little tab goes in there, and you can uh, plug that back in. All right, full brake job complete. Make sure when you're putting these on, this R is for the right side, in case I didn't point that out before. But uh, new pads, new rotors, ready to lower it and put our wheels back on. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you learned something. Subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next video.